She turned her head and saw, a hand spread from her eyes, those other glacial eyes, that livid face, those lips petrified with fear, just as she had seen them in the crowd at midnight mass the first time he was close to her. But now, instead of the commotion of love, she felt the abyss of disenchantment. In an instant, the magnitude of her own mistakes were revealed to her, and she asked herself, appalled, how she could have ever nurtured such a chimera in her heart for so long and with so much ferocity. She just managed to think, oh my goodness, the poor man. Florentino smiled, tried to say something, tried to follow her, but she erased him from her life with a wave of her hand. No, please, she said to him, please forget it. And that afternoon, while her father was taking his siesta, she sent him a two-line letter. Today, when I saw you, I realised that what is between us is nothing more than an illusion. The maid returned his telegrams, his verses, his dry camellias, and asked him to send back her letters and gifts. Aunt Ecclesiastic's missile, the veins of leaves from her herbariums, the square centimetre of the habit of St Peter Clavier, the saint's medals, the braid of her 15th year tied with the silk ribbon of her school uniform. And in the days that followed, on the verge of total madness, he wrote her countless desperate letters and besieged the maid to take them to her. But the maid obeyed the instructions not to accept anything but returned gifts.